Welcome back to the European Parliament in Brussels, where we have just concluded a very eventful week. We started off with a seminar about the Palestinian responsibilities for human rights violations in the West Bank and Gaza with Kalev Myers from the Jerusalem Institute of uh, Justice. Um, before I speak about the report I have before you, I want to ask two simple questions. Number one, why in a time of such serious economic distress, like we see today in uh, the European Union, does this body donate hundreds of millions of euros to a fundamental Islamic dictatorship in the Middle East? In 2012 alone, we're talking about commitments of over 300 million euros to the Palestinian Authority. My second question is why is this money being given without any real accountability for human rights reforms? We also recorded our first uh, talk show here from the studio in the European Parliament where uh, Rick Ridings, Kalev Myers and myself were discussing current issues uh, affecting Israel and the relations between the EU and um, Israel. Uh, last but not least, we were able to bring together some 40 plus le le young leaders from uh, all across Europe who have been sitting here together, dialoguing, consulting with us, how they can become better advocates for Israel and also how we as a coalition can reach out to the next generation and become even more uh, effective in our work. I'm from Hungary, from Central Europe and uh, I came here to this conference because we were very concerned about the situation, the actual political situation of Israel and we Hungarians want to express our solidarity with the Israeli people uh, because of some historical reasons and as well actual political facts. We Christian, Hungarian Christians want to support Israel as much as we can and we found it, we, we found a possibility here and we thought we can learn a lot of things and gain experience here. Um, the thing that's impressed me most um, really is the passion that I've kind of not really been exposed to before from the Christian uh, movement that supports so strongly um, Israel and I think it's so important um, that that voice uh, is given a platform of this kind of on this kind of stage and I really I've really been touched by uh, the yeah the passion that I've kind of encountered here. Um, I've learned that I have a lot more to learn. Mm. And um, I'm excited at um, how much knowledge and information there is available to equip us to tell a different story. Um, and uh, I'm excited to learn myself and then to be a communicator as well. It's really well thought through. There's a lot of understanding of the political issues. The, these uh, the very interesting speakers came, Rafi Eitan, and, and very, very uh, important people. It was, it's clearly, it's, it's bigger than just a, a, a wacky, minority group on the side. This is something at the heart of, of Europe and, and representing Israel with, with understanding and with, with, uh, with, with, with clarity and, and perspective. I felt it was really important what, we, what was being said here. Lots of really interesting information that was coming through, information you don't hear in other contexts. So please uh, stay on our YouTube channel, uh, which you can also find on our website, uh, europeancoalitionforisrael.org. In the meantime, and before we meet next time, we will be uh, uh, going to Tokyo, Japan, but in uh, April there will be a new uh, report also from, from Brussels. Thank you.